Picture this with me, okay? It's a sunny afternoon, right? Florence, 1954. People just out having a normal day. Lunch in the piazza, that kind of thing. And then, boom, something strange happens up above. Not storm clouds or anything like that, but uh, something much weirder. Way weirder. We're talking UFOs, folks. Specifically, the Florence UFO mystery. A mass sighting that left hundreds, maybe even thousands, totally speechless. Yeah, and you see what makes the Florence event so interesting, so compelling, uh -huh. is that it wasn't just a quick, ooh, light in the sky kind of thing. Right. This was broad daylight, tons of witnesses, and the details, they line up even decades later. Very strange. Okay, so this wasn't just a couple of folks mistaking a weather balloon for something out of this world. We're talking a major, major event. This... What did people actually see? Can you, like, set the scene for us? Imagine this. Bright, colorful lights just dancing across the sky. Mm -hmm. And not randomly. It's almost like they were, you know... Coordinated. Yeah. Choreographed. Almost like a celestial ballet. Lights moving in formation, then breaking apart, then coming back together. Right. Like they had a plan. Were they blinking, making like shapes or anything? Some people said they saw classic saucer shapes, those circular lights. Mm -hmm. Others said more linear formations, all moving together in sync. Yeah. And get this. People said these things were fast, like unbelievably fast. And the turns, the maneuver, nothing back then could move like that. Wait, hold on. Impossible maneuver. So we're not just talking intriguing. We're talking like defying the laws of physics. Exactly. Was there any photographic evidence? Did anyone manage to capture this on film? Well, you got to remember, this was 1954. Photos and videos weren't exactly, you know, easy to snap. True, true. Which is a shame because it adds to the mystery, you know, no clear images. But here's the thing. Some people reported something even weirder than the lights. Okay, now you've got to tell me. What could be stranger than, than the lights zipping around like that? A lot of the witnesses said they saw this massive metallic object <sighs> just kind of hovering there in the middle of it all. Like, gravity just decided to take a break. Okay, now I've got chills. So with all those people seeing all that, mm. surely somebody had an explanation. Of course. People tried to explain it away. Yeah. Ball lightning. Mm -hmm. Maybe some strange meteor shower. Or just a really weird atmospheric thing. But none of it really fits. Not the scale of it, not how long it lasted, not those movements. And a meteor shower doesn't really explain a giant metal thing just, you know, hanging out, does it? Good point. So what happened then? I mean, this whole thing must have caused quite a stir. Oh, definitely. Did the Italian government get involved at all? Oh, yeah, big time. The Italian government, you know, they had to do something, all this buzz, all these people talking. And hey, maybe they were a little curious themselves. I mean, who wouldn't be? So they launched a full-on investigation into the whole Florence sighting. Wow, a full-on investigation. So we're talking like the X-Files in real life. Pretty much. They were <laughs> interviewing witnesses left and right, writing down every detail, even looking for any photos or whatever. But like I said, that was tricky back then. Right, right. So what did they find? Did they figure it out? It's the thing about the Florence sighting. It's like a puzzle with missing pieces. Yeah. They investigated, they put in the work, but they couldn't say for sure what it was. So they did all that and basically said, we got nothing. Basically, they said, yes, something happened. Lots of folks saw something weird. But what that something was, no clue. I bet that was frustrating for everyone, the people who saw it, everyone talking about it, even the investigators. A mystery with no answer. What happened then? Did Florence just like move on well you know how it goes when the authorities can't explain something people start coming up with their own ideas makes sense so what were people saying besides the usual suspects ball lightning weather balloons that kind of thing it went way beyond that this was the cold war remember mm -hmm. people were thinking secret government stuff experimental aircraft you name it right top secret projects the works but come on that's not all is it did anyone get into you know more out there explanations of course we're talking aliens, man. Some folks were convinced it had to be extraterrestrials. I get that. I mean, no real answers. Why not jump to aliens? But is that really fair? Just because it's unexplained doesn't mean it's little green men, right? You've got a point. we got to be skeptical. got to look at things critically. But just because we don't know something doesn't mean it's impossible, right? Who knows? Maybe one day we'll have the answers. Maybe it's science. Maybe it's old government secrets. Who knows? Yeah, that's true. Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. This is right. But in the meantime, all we have are these stories, these theories, and this mystery that never went away. So what about Florence? Did it become like a UFO hotspot after all this? It's funny. Florence had this really mixed reaction to the whole thing. 
Some people, they were just amazed. Like, wow, something we don't understand, the possibilities. But others, they were freaked out. Like, what if it happens again? What does it mean? It was unsettling, you know? I get it. Seeing something on TV, that's one thing. But believing you saw something impossible, something that changes how you see the world, that's got to mess with your head, you know? What about the people who were there? Did it affect them long term? Yeah, it really makes you think, huh? How we react to things we don't understand. Some folks are drawn to it. Some folks are scared of it. But this Florence thing, it wasn't just a one-time deal, right? It feels like part of something bigger. You're right. The Florence sighting, as crazy as it was, it wasn't alone. Mm. We're talking about a global thing here. Unexplained stuff in the sky going back centuries across every culture all over the world. People have been looking up, scratching their heads, asking, what is that mm. for a long, long time? So are there any, like, similarities? I mean, besides something weird in the sky, do these stories from different places, different times, have anything in common? It's wild, right? Because you'd think different cultures, different languages, different centuries even. But the way people describe these sightings, it's often so similar. Strange lights, disc shapes, those impossible movements. Almost like there's a universal language for talking about this stuff, which honestly makes it even more mysterious. Like, we're all looking at the same puzzle, but no one has all the pieces so it's got to be more than just people being curious right there must be people who really really try to understand what's going on oh absolutely whole organizations now mm -hmm. dedicated to this they research ufo sightings they gather all the data they can they even try to get governments to be more open about what they know wow okay and it's not just you know conspiracy folks in their basements we're talking scientists professors even some people who used to work for the government they're taking this seriously so UFO research has, like, leveled up. What does that even look like these days? It's not just grainy photos and people's stories, is it? Not anymore. Technology's come a long way, right? So now we can study this stuff with some serious science behind it, like spectral analysis. That's one tool. You can use it to look at those weird lights, figure out if it's just some atmospheric thing or something truly unknown. So we've gone from that's just your imagination to using high-tech tools to figure out what's what. It's kind of exciting, you know, like we're close to some big breakthroughs, some real answers. Here's hoping, right. <laughs> but until then, I think it's those unanswered questions that keep us looking up at the stars, keep us wondering. That's a great way to put it. It's the mysteries, the things we haven't figured out yet that keep us exploring. Thanks for diving into the Florence UFO mystery with us today. It's been a wild ride. Anytime. And to everyone listening, keep looking up and never stop being curious. See you next time on The Deep Dive.